going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm Blasio here. Today, we're doing a full day of eating. The goal is to try to show you everything that I put in my mouth today. This is meal one. We got a cup of oatmeal, a serving of almond butter, uh, two thirds of a cup of mixed berries. Uh, it comes out to just about three ounces and six egg whites. But because I was rushing today like crazy, I used whey protein instead, so, which is like one scoop has 25 grams, six egg whites has 30 grams, so you just you know, put just a little bit more of the scoop, so like a scoop in like one eighth. So uh, today is a normal workout day, meaning there is no, so I get a cheat meal whenever I do legs. If I do legs, I will replace one of my, my meals with a cheat meal, but today is not a leg day, it is a shoulder day, so I'll show you, I'll be showing you that too, so. I am able to eat my second meal for today. Here we have a cup of cream of rice. It's supposed to be a cup of regular rice, of jasmine rice, but I just ran out, so cream of rice is another alternative. We have seven ounces of ground turkey, 99% ground turkey, and two ounces of uh, avocado. Well, this is really like 2.3 because it was perfectly like, you know what, yeah. And uh, a cup of spinach. Yes, that's actually a cup, but it just, you know. If you ever cook spinach or like heat it up, it just it just dissolves. I'm gonna eat this real quick, head to the grocery store, then we're gonna go back home, get a, another meal, then we're gonna go to the gym, and then I'll show you guys everything else. So, it is currently 3.15 p.m. and I ended up getting home and I knocked out. My body was just exhausted. We've had two meals so far, I need to get three more in me and one post-workout shake and a pre-workout snack. One of the meals is supposed to be seven ounces of chicken breast or like 99% ground turkey and two ounces of almonds. I'm doing protein instead because we're already running behind. We still have to get to the gym. I'm doing st uh, two scoops of protein and the two ounces of almonds. So seven ounces of chicken breast has around, like right at 50 grams of protein. So two scoops of protein is 50 grams. So that's what I'm doing right now while I'm prepping my next meal. Because the gas hasn't really been installed yet, I've been using this thing in the jiggy. So we have uh, ground beef, we have 96% ground beef. Uh, we have some mushrooms in there, some spinach, because this meal is supposed to have a cup of veggies. So what I do is I just cook them together so it doesn't taste as bland. I'm personally not the biggest fan of veggies, but if you cook the veggies with the meat. One, it would help the meat get a little bit more moist. Two, the veggies kind of shrink down a little bit. They're easier to eat, but it's in the plan. We gotta do it. Hmm? How do you get that done? What's in there? Protein, almonds. Almonds. It's not that bad. It actually tastes pretty good. I'm also being lazy because I didn't take out the blender. The less dishes to wash, the better, yeah. I'm not about the cheap Oh, okay. Yeah, that is the matter. It has been about 20 minutes since we had that shake while this was cooking up. We have some ground beef. We had seven ounces of ground beef, cup of veggies, eight ounces of white rice. Oh, also, we have this. Some juice I found in my local grocery store. If you're Spanish and you grew up with uh, in a Spanish household, you may know what this is, Tampico. It's like this like orange, like, it's like an orange juice, honestly. But they have like a, like a five calorie one. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, that just became a thing now. So I'm drinking this because it tastes good. Uh, anything that tastes good and has no calories right now is, is a go. I'm about to have this. Then we're gonna go to the gym and uh, hopefully in about like 30-ish minutes, maybe 40 minutes. Most likely gonna eat my little muffin, very important muffin, once I'm on my way to the gym. The trick is to warm it up. We were kind of rushing today, so I'm literally like sipping the pre-workout with that. Not ideal, but
gym is a little packed. Today was like a really short workout, like 45 minutes. I spent five of those minutes eating a muffin. So it was worth it though. I, I also just needed to get everything down food wise, you know, so that's why. I'm just doing two working sets here and I'm gonna switch. For some reason, it gets you into like the perfect spot. It just like arches you the perfect way, where you can you can really stretch and just squeeze your pecs. It's crazy. All right, so we are done at the gym, walking home. You can see that. Looks like a police car just now, literally behind me. Yeah, it's it's New York. It's, it's like Gotham City. Something's always happening. So, and this is a relatively safe neighborhood too. But it's just it's just how it is. We need to get uh, two shakes in, the post workout shake. And I'm gonna wait a little bit and then have one more meal, and I'll show you guys what it is. But kind of wanted to talk to you about the the next show. Uh, it's gonna be the Olympia Amateur. It's gonna be December 14th. I'll be doing men's physique. But as of right now, that's that's the only show I'm doing. There you go, much better lighting. It's really dark, so I need to get out of here, honestly. This is a very sketchy, like, I shouldn't stop, like, right here. So I'm just gonna keep, I'm like, really close home. But I wanted to get this clip in and kind of let you guys in on the loop on what's going on. Because we just moved, every, we have to transfer everything to the new place. So the gas was supposed to be transferred today, which it did. Someone had to be home between like certain hours of the day. The day had started like at 5 a.m. So uh, I ended up taking a nap at some point. That also kind of set me back a little bit. I don't usually nap. Like I don't usually sleep throughout the day unless I'm like super, super tired. So if I'm napping through the day, something like I'm just exhausted. <laughs> so I needed that nap. It, it was only for like an hour, I think. No, 45 minutes. Uh, it, it did wake me up a little bit. I'm like. Yo, this is like a scary movie kind of scenery. I'm glad I'm keeping a record of this because if I die, yeah, you guys will know why. I don't usually work out this late in the day. I had like four meals in me, which is amazing. I don't usually get to do that. I usually only get have like one to two, maybe three meals in me before I, I work out. It just happens because of my schedule, you know. I gotta make a living too, so. I'm about to go home and uh, show you guys what I'm gonna eat next. I promised I'm showing you guys literally everything that I'm putting in my mouth today. So just two scoops of protein post-workout. Um, it could literally be any protein you want. This is some random protein I picked up at my supplement store. Uh, this just kind of caught my attention because it's something about, they call it chocolate cookie blast. I just saw the Oreo on the, on the label and I was like, sure. Also, the reason why I'm using this spoon, I don't want to take out the blender and then wash it. I have to wash enough dishes for the day. So, I, uh, whatever I don't have to wash, I will, I will pick that option every time. So, uh, my body's responding really well. I am, I'm, I'm glad it is because you know, that's always a good thing when your body's responding well. Food is high, uh, cardio is low. You know, my workouts are really good. I'm getting good pumps. Uh, my body's changing. I'm getting leaner. I'm staying full, you know. This is actually really thick. That's really good. Damn. God damn. Yo. <clears throat> this tastes like an Oreo milkshake from like Shake Shack or something like that. 
That's crazy. These are the kind of things that kind of help with my cravings and things like that. I've been doing really good with no cravings. Like, I've been zoned in for this show ever since I started prep. I, I've been treating ever since day one to now like I, if, as if I was like two weeks out. Like, everything is clockwork. And there's no missing meal. I, I'm not tasting anything. You know, someone kind of sometimes they will like, you know, give you something to taste. I, I just completely just say no. I was skipping my cheat meals in the beginning, not gonna lie, because I was just like so in my head about like my body needed to needed to change. I'll, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys Maybe in the next video, so far the progress that I made. But today I kinda just wanna keep it at just the food, at what have I been eating. Maybe like another hour before I have my last meal. Next clip I'm gonna calculate everything. This, it would be 300 calories. I am missing the, the 12.5 grams of carbs from uh, the, the carb 10 because I had such a short workout and you know, things just, you know. That is 45 calories that I missed, but this protein does have six grams of carbs per scoop, that's 12. So it's honestly the same as if I had added the 12 and a half grams anyway. So my coach has me drink the carbs after my workout, but I kind of like drinking them during my workout. Drinking carbs during your workout is a good thing if, you, if your workouts are long. Like if once you start going over the hour, like an hour and 15, hour and 30, sometimes uh, I'll, I'll start feeling kind of flat and kind of fatigued and the carbs help with that. You know, you're constantly getting a flow of nutrients. It helps staying full during your workout if the workouts are a little bit longer or if you didn't have enough food throughout the day. Like I mentioned earlier, today is one of the few days where I've had like four meals before I went to the gym. That's amazing. I wish I could do that every day, but unfortunately I can't do that because of my schedule. So I usually I'm going to the gym with like one or two meals. So the, work, the, the carbs kind of help with that. Well, right now I'm just gonna do some work on the computer and then I'm going to drink my last meal and then head to bed because I got an early start tomorrow. Nice. The last meal for today is two scoops of protein and two servings of almond butter. The last thing I need to eat for today and then I can go to sleep because <laughs> my day starts early tomorrow so I need to be in bed by like like right now. Give you guys a full breakdown of what happened today. It's 3,700 calories for the most part, uh, which breaks down into proteins are at 319 grams, carbohydrates are 326 grams, fats are at 135 grams, and fiber, just for some reference, is at 47 grams. Uh, that's kind of what I've been eating. It's been working so far. I'm, I'm recomping. I'm getting bigger and I'm getting leaner. And minimal cardio. I uh, feel like this is plenty of food for the day. This is kind of what my coach put me on so I just just listen and just try to follow. And I've mentioned it before in like videos that I've made like, like three years ago. I still have the same coach. I've only had one coach. Uh, his name is Chris Villa. That's the person I've been working with for a while. And other than that, that's that's kind of the update for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Subscribe to see the next video. Uh, and hit the little notification bell because that lets you know when I, whenever I post a video. And um, I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.